Batcare is the ground support equipment for lithium ion batteries that has been designed by SAFT to perform different operations on wing and off wing, such as periodic battery control, meaning capacity and impedance measurement, commissioning charge, storage charge, discharge, and battery status check. The on wing capability allows the four batteries that equip the A350 to be monitored on board without removing the batteries from the plane. This allows time saving of about two hours per plane. The very simple bat care tasks can be safely performed by one person. Plugging. The bat care needs to be connected with an electrical cable. The voltage requirement being 110 to 264 volts. There are two cables, J1 and J2 that connect the bat care to the battery, J2 being the power control that allows communication between the bat care and the battery. J1 is the power cable. Both cables can be ordered in different lengths, 3 meters for off-wing or battery shop operations and 18 meters for on-wing operations. Then the J1 and the J2 cables have to be connected to the lithium-ion battery. The connection steps are quite straightforward and easy to perform. First of all, the J1 cable is connected to the battery and securely tightened. Then the J2 cable is connected to the battery, lining up with the guide, then tightened into place. Then finally, two contactors from J2 and J1 are screwed together. Once the connections have been made, the bat care can be started. As the bat care can also be used outdoors, the front panel is waterproof and protected by a polycarbonate cover. It contains the touchscreen display, the main breaker, the USB port and the RJ45 interface. The RJ45 interface is used to upload new bat care software versions when SAFT requires them. SAFT has developed a friendly, easy to use interface. When the bat care is started or after a user logout, the user must identify their profile. The user chooses their profile from a contextual list. User, advanced, allowing access to the manual mode in the control function and to system functions. Calibration, allowing advanced functions and modification of calibration parameters. This then accesses a menu with subsections dedicated to the battery, the GSE, and the maintenance of the GSE. The basic operations are done through the battery menu. Check of the battery. To perform the periodic check of the battery on the bat care, click on the battery menu, test. Complete the fields of the test configuration screen, battery part number, battery position, airline name, tail number, flight hours. Enter the date, click to continue. Wait until the process ends and the display of the following screen. Record in the battery logbook the capacity and the impedance values have then to be compared to the reference values by the operator. If the results of the test are correct, the battery can be placed in the aircraft after a charge or put on long-term storage after a storage charge. If the results of the test are not correct, some complementary tests must be performed. Charge and discharge. The bat care can also charge and discharge the battery. The battery should be charged in order to be installed in the aircraft and for storage, a full charge should be performed followed by a discharge with a state of charge of 70%. On the GSE, click on Battery Charge. On the Charge Configuration screen, fill the battery part number field for the target SOC, then press Continue. The bat care allows a very quick charge from 20% of state of charge to 90% in less than 45 minutes. For the discharge, a similar process exists. Data transfer. The GSE can store up to 16 test records and will lock itself when this number is reached. In order to perform the data transfer towards a dedicated SAFT web portal, click on the menu GSE Database. Insert a USB key in the port, push on the transfer button, at the end of the transfer, remove the USB key. The data on the USB key can then be transferred to a PC, then uploaded via internet to the SAFT web portal. The SAFT web portal contains the battery test history, the technical documentation, 
training support and help desk services. Once the checks have been performed on the batteries, bat gear is shut down. The connector cable is unscrewed. Then the J2 and J1 cables are disconnected from the batteries. Then, finally, the cables are disconnected from the bat care. The cables can then be stored inside the bat care. Despite this, bat care only weighs 100 kilograms. It is easily movable by one person thanks to its four wheels. Training sessions are available in Airbus's e-catalogue for the maintenance of lithium-ion batteries.